What's going on guys? Bradley here back again with another video and today I'm going to be talking about something I feel like I needed to make a video on. In the past previous videos, you know, about my Android challenge, people down in the comments thought that I was, you know, kind of being biased towards Apple and iOS because, you know, that's what I've been using for the past three years. When really, it's wrong because the only reason I wanted to try Android is because I'm unbiased. I'm one of the few people that I can proudly say, like, I like both sides of the ecosystems. Like, some things are better on some operating systems. Not one thing or one operating system is better than the other. It just all comes down to personal preference, which pretty much all technology is personal preference anyways. So without further ado, we're gonna be talking about five things I don't like about iOS. Let's get it started. I'm just going to tell you five things that I don't really like about Apple slash iOS and their iPhones. Mainly it's software stuff. Um, it's no like serious major things to be concerned about. It's just stuff that I think should be improved in the future. You know with iOS 10 and stuff like that. And that would make the iPhone even better. So number one is customization. Now a lot of you probably seen this coming because I mean everyone knows that the iPhone is just simple. Like you have your pages of apps, right? And that's all you have. Like if you wanted to move this app, say you wanted to put it down here or here or here, you know, you can't do that. You can move them like this, but you can't put them on the screen wherever you want. And that's the big thing about customization now the home screen is really not that big of a deal I actually kind of like this it's not that bad but it could definitely be improved with the home screen I like it you know because it adds that extra reliability of just knowing where every app is and stuff like that and just you know you can you know fastly find your apps without an app drawer and stuff like that so number two on the list would be default apps. Now Android is pretty much all open source. And before I talk about the second one, about the default apps, I want to say that I don't think Apple should ever go fully open source because that is the main difference between iOS and Android. iOS is limited to the customization and Android isn't. And that's a big, big deal as in why Apple has such a reliable, fast, and you know, you can just use it and you know, there's never a problem. That's because it's not open source and they lock down certain things, but I do think they should open up some things. So what I want to talk about is the default app. So what I mean by this is on Android, you can change your default app for your browser. Like you could have um, Chrome, you can have like like all the different browser apps in the Play Store you can pretty much set as your default browser and then you can also change your default messaging app and I think this would be cool for iPhones you could change your messaging app you know your music player and stuff like that because I would love to have like Spotify or something that'd be like the default music player now they already have some you know third-party integration with their keyboards but the thing is I don't really see the point of using a third party keyboard because every time you have to type in a password somewhere, it brings up the Apple keyboard again. I don't know why it does that. I think it's for security measures. That way third party apps don't get your, um, you know, don't get your passwords and stuff like that. But Android has that for a while and I really think that they should look, open that up. All right, so number three on the list is the notifications. Now I'm not talking about the little pop down notifications that come down when you're nap because those are fine. Those have been changed in the past year whereas you can pull them down and reply to them very easily now. Although I would like to have third party support for the pull down, you know, typing back and stuff like that like with Hangouts and WhatsApp and stuff like that. But I think we'll see that in the future. But what I'm talking about here is this pull down notifications. This literally has not changed in three years. Like it's always been this and then you have your today tab and then you have your notifications. I think it should be integrated somehow together. You know, they did improve on this little timeline thing because it used to be grouped with apps and with each app you have to hit clear, then clear, then clear, then clear, then clear, like each single notification. And it was really just annoying, but they fixed that. 
but I want to see a new design to the notification tray and something more useful because I don't ever see myself using this today thing. I know I have this ESPN thing on here, but I never use it. I, ne I barely ever look at it and I have all these widgets, you know, that I could add that would probably kind of be useful. But what's the point when I'm just like, when I put out my notifications and I don't see anything, I don't want to have to switch between back and forth. All right, so number four on the list is going to be the screen. Now I know a lot of people know that the iPhone screen is not the best. Now I do have the 6S Plus here which is a 1080p panel. IPS, I should you know mention that, it looks great. Like I literally, I don't have a problem with the iPhone screen at all. You can't see pixels, it's very beautiful, it's bright, it has good colors. But whenever I switch to this Nexus 6P which has a 2K AMOLED screen from Samsung, which, you know, they're putting out the best AMOLED screens out there, it's very, very hard to go back. Like, once you use this phone, it's, like, it's night and day difference. It's not that big of a difference. You know, say, like, when you're watching media or movies or something like that, it's not that big of a deal. But just your everyday usage, you can really tell how beautiful this screen is. And I would really like to have that on an iPhone. So, number five is the complete operating system, whole iOS in general. And what I mean by that is a complete, I think they should do a complete design overhaul. The looks of the apps in iOS and iOS in general has not changed design-wise since iOS 7. That is three years ago. And I'm telling you, it's really getting old. Whenever I switched to the material design on an Android, I loved it. It was new, it was refreshing, reinvigorating. One thing I would really like in iOS 10 though, would be a dark mode. So say like uh, in your messages app, like this how it's got the white background and whatnot. Well, I would just have, in all your apps, have a black background, you know. In the settings here you can go into general and go to accessibility and go to invert colors and it's kind of like looks like this but without the inverted colors like the regular colors but without the inverted you know what I'm saying like a black background I just would love that to use and I know they have the new night shift mode which is great like I use it every single night you know it's supposed to not let as much blue light into your eyes and help you sleep better and I can tell you that it really does work and it's a very good feature they put in there but I really think they should do a total over design hall change and really add something new refreshing to the operating system so that's going to be it for today's video guys make sure you drop a like if you like the video it supports my channel a lot and makes me put out better content and it makes the content get out there for new subscribers that way we can get more feedback in our videos and have a higher quality experience overall so it's a win-win for both of us number two make sure you comment down below telling me what you think Apple should change in iOS 10 like what's your number one feature you think they should implement and I'll catch you guys next week peace